In the city of Lima, Peru, vermilion flycatchers are turning colors from this into this. Vermilion flycatchers are perhaps one of the most easily recognized birds in regions where they occur. Males will go through varying stages of coloration for two years before they attain the impressive scarlet color seen in adult birds. The plumage of females is nondescript, showing only a tinge of red in their bellies. Vermilion flycatchers inhabit open habitats with ample visibility they perch on exposed branches, scanning for flying or walking invertebrates. From southern United States through southern Argentina, vermilion flycatchers show similar color patterns and are polymorphic. This means that males and females differ in coloration. It is only in the, the vermilion flycatcher population of the city of Lima where a dark color variant has appeared and established itself. Males and females show a similar dark coloration. Hence, polymorphism within this urban population has been lost. Peruvian ornithologists have taken note of the color transformation of the vermilion flycatcher. Biologists and bird watchers who visit Lima wonder about the story behind the rise and establishment of the dark colored or melanistic birds in Lima. We tell the story by showing the association between environmental changes in the city and the color transformation of the vermilion flycatcher. The process of adaptation helps explain the color transformation of the vermilion flycatcher. Adaptation is defined as any change in the structure or functioning of an organism that makes it better suited to its environment. Over time, Animals adapt to changing environments. Color and morphological traits are selected by natural selection. The underlying genetic basis for the adaptive trait did not, did not arise as a consequence of the environment. The genetic variant pre-existed and was subsequently selected because it provided the bearer of that variant some advantage. A case of adaptation to changing environments is illustrated by the peppered moth in the city of London. Elevated levels of air pollution killed the lichen that matched the color patterns of light-colored moths. The absence of lichen in the city made light-colored moths more vulnerable to bird predation. Melanistic, or dark moths, appeared in the population and blended better in the newly created darkened substrates. Melanistic moths had an advantage as they were able to avoid predation better than their light-colored counterpart. But how does this apply to color transformation of the vermilion flycatchers in Lima? Well, the sequence of events in the city of Lima appear to be similar to those in the city of London. During the mid-50s, the capital city of Peru underwent a dramatic industrial transformation. Agricultural land and other natural green areas were replaced with industrial and urban development. The city's industrial transformation included a rapid increase in the human population and the number of motor vehicles, which are the greatest source of air pollution in the city. In the year 2000, up to 65% of all vehicles in the city had been previously owned in other countries, some up to seven years before importation into Peru. The lack of an environmental protection policy in the country, old and often poorly maintained motor vehicles, and the use of low-quality fuel had resulted in Lima being considered one of the world, world's most polluted cities, surpassing the pollution levels in Mexico City, Santiago de Chile, Los Angeles, Tokyo, and Rome. The soot residue of fuel burning settles over the city. Soot builds up over time as rain in this part of coastal Peru is largely absent. 
A layer of soot in most of the city, in addition to overcast skies for nearly nine months of the year, result in an overall darkened environment. Melanistic vermilion flycatchers appeared in Lima and seem to be establishing themselves in the Lima population as approximately 70% of the city's flycatchers are now dark or melanistic. Comparing the colors of scarlet birds versus the melanistic variant, it is easy to see that the dark variant blends in better in the darkened Lima environments. Indeed, if coloration reflects adaptation to an animal's environment, the ten most common bird species in Lima, therefore the most successful in the Lima environment, show color patterns that are more similar to melanistic flycatchers than to scarlet birds. The most common bird species in the city range between brown, gray, and black colors. It is easy to visualize how dark moths in London were better able to avoid predation in the darkened London environment. However, through years of observations of birds in Lima, we have not been able to establish the advantage of the dark colored flycatchers, as the city is largely free of potential predators. It has been suggested that adult males are highly visible, sought after by youngsters using slingshots and BB guns. However, we don't agree that human predation is a strong enough selection pressure against scarlet birds. We illustrate the association between environmental changes and the color transformation in the vermilion flycatcher. However, the advantages of being dark in the darkened habitats of urban Lima, or the implications of turning from a polymorphic to monomorphic species still remain untested. We at Corbidi welcome ideas and research projects to address the evolutionary implications of the color transformation observed in the polymorphic vermilion flycatcher in Lima.